The car in this problem is at a stop sign when it starts moving along the positive x-axis. I'll draw that here. At t equals zero, it's located at the stop sign. Two seconds later, it's over here. And after another two seconds, it's located here. Parts A, B, and C of this problem ask us to calculate the car's average velocity between two different time periods. In part A, we're asked to find the average velocity from t equals zero to t equals two seconds. And that's given by delta x to zero, the displacement from time zero to two, divided by delta t. That displacement is shown here. It's the change in position between those two times. Part B asks us for the average velocity between times zero and four seconds. So that's the displacement between times zero and four seconds divided by delta t with the displacement or change in position for those times shown here. And finally, part C asks for the average velocity between times two and four seconds. And that displacement is shown here, the change in position from when t equals two seconds to four seconds. Before we can calculate these average velocities, we need to know the positions at each of those times. We'll find those using the equation they give us. x, the position as a function of time, equals alpha t squared minus beta t cubed. The position at time t equals zero is given by alpha times zero minus beta times zero, which is just zero. At t equals two seconds, we get this expression, where alpha is 1.50 meters per second squared and beta is 0 0.0500 meters per second cubed. And calculate this to find that it equals 5.60 meters. Doing the same thing when t equals four seconds. And calculating gives us 20.8 meters. So we can record those positions over here and now come back and calculate the average velocities. In part A, the average velocity from t equals zero to two is the change in position, so final minus initial, x at two seconds minus x at zero seconds divided by the elapsed time, that's two seconds, and you get 2.80 meters per second. In part B, the final time is four seconds and the initial time is zero, so we substitute those positions divided by the elapsed time, four seconds, to get 5.20 meters per second. And finally, in part C, the final time is four seconds, the initial time is two seconds. We substitute those positions, final minus initial, divide by the change in time, and calculate to find the average velocity during that interval is 7.60 meters per second.